This video is sponsored by Walsworth. All right, are you ready, Monica? Ooh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to break it to you, but we're going to have to hit go anyway. So let's see what you've got in three, two, one. OK, when you're drawing something, even if it needs to be bent later, it's better drawn and easier drawn in a straight fashion. And then what you can do is make a brush out of it, like I've done here. So legs and arms as brushes, and then apply it to strokes, to paths. So you can bend pretty exactly. So let's do that, because there's some magic to it. So I've got this cable, and I'm going to take it and drag it into the brushes panel and make an art brush, which is an easy kind of brush. Now what we need to control is the scaling of the plugs. So let's scale this between guides and drag these guides to a position where we can need them, like so. Nice. So let's apply it to here, and you see the plugs don't get scaled, but they get distorted. That's not nice. So let's not fix nice. that. Fix it. OK, so let's drag it out of the brushes panel in order to edit it. And when we now go into the outline view, you see Illustrator has added something. So it has added this rectangle. This rectangle, when I select it, you see it's invisible. It's also at the bottom of the artwork. That's important. So invisible and at the bottom of the artwork. And then I take the selection tool and let's make it smaller so that it excludes the plugs. And now let's take this and drag it into the brushes panel again, pressing Alt in order to replace the existing brush, like so, and apply this. And you see, the plugs don't get distorted. So the next thing is, when we apply this to this path, which overlaps itself, well, this fails. And this can only be solved with pattern brushes. But in pattern brushes, we can as well use the trick with the invisible rectangle. I have prepared it already. So this is invisible at the bottom. And they need to match. So the height needs to be the same in all those three uh, parts. So we start with this one, drag it in, make a pattern brush like so, make OK and then drag in the next one. And you see, I've got this standard arrow brush here, which I need to just figure out the position of those parts, pressing the Alt key and dragging them right in. And again, this one, take it, press the Alt key and drag it where it belongs. No patterns necessary. And now we're going to select this one, apply the pattern brush, and the overlaps are cool. Wow. And there's more to it, but Woo! yeah, time is out. Good job! Oh, I love it! Oh, Monica, you always have something so clever. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.